Sanchez, 15th career start against New York. We talked last start for Max Scherzer. He needs a win. Anibal Sanchez needs a win. 0-6 on the season. Last start May 10th against the Dodgers. 5 to nothing loss. Popped up. Left side, Anthony Rendon. Glove for shade into foul ground for the first out of the game. Now the wind and the pitch. And a swing and a miss. And Cano chased one off the plate and strikes out. Right side and Howie makes him play it. One, two, three. Good news for Sanchez. And runners first and second for Anthony Rendon, whose bat's starting to come alive here in this series. Here's a swing, line drive, left center field, a base hit for Rendon. Rounding third is Eaton. He will come in to score. Rounding second and heading for third is Robles. Anthony Rendon on an 0-2 pitch. Six for eight in the series. Drives in his 21st run of the year. Base is loaded for the Nationals with nobody out. And here comes Howie Kendrick. Pitch to Kendrick. Hit on the ground toward short. Slowly hit. Fielded by Rosario. The second to Canoa. On the first to Smith. It is a double play. But in to score is Victor Robles. And it's now the Nationals two and the Mets nothing. So now the batter will be Gerardo Parra batting in the sixth spot of the order. 2-1 to Parra. He's going to check one to right center. One hopping the scoreboard, and the Nats do lead 3-0 again. Every one of his hits have meant something. Kurt Suzuki is next. And the pitch, swing and a drive deep down the left field line toward the corner. This one is high off the wall and in play. Rounding third, par, he will score. Suzuki heading for second, and the throw is not in time. He misses a home run by inches at the top of the wall down the left field line. It's now the Nationals four, and the Mets nothing. The first hit in first base runner for New York. Sanchez to the belt, runner going to pitch, just missed with a cutter ball four. Nimmo sprints to first. The Mets have runners first and second with one out. He's hurt. Uh-oh. Uh, he knows he's really hurt. He's frustrated. He knows it's serious. Yeah, they're not even talking to him. He knows he's done. Kind of hunches over after the pitch. That's all we got. Well, Eric Fetty popped up just after Joe Ross did out in the bullpen, so he's taken the mound. He'll make his second appearance of the series. 2-2 from Fetty. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a slider, and Fetty will strand the two inherited runners. Base hit up the middle by McNeil. Smith it's chopper to first it's gloved by Parra fires to second for one return throw to first with Fetty covering not in time Smith aboard on a fielder's choice McNeil's out at second and Wheeler scoots up to third Jeff McNeil is out of the game he had a hip labrum surgery a few years ago no idea if it has anything to do with that but he's out of the game and we'll get a report as soon as we can so the Mets will have runners on the corners with one out and Robinson Cano will be due up Cano hits one toward the gap in left center field, slicing away from Robles. That'll go up the gap and bounce over the wall for a ground roll double. That'll bring in Wheeler with the Mets' first run. Smith has to stop at third. Robinson Cano goes the other way for a run scoring double. His first hit of the series to drive it a run, and it's 4 to 1 Washington. So here you go. Now the Mets are in business against the Washington bullpen, and a big, big batter here with one out. And he launches one to deep right field. Back goes Eaton to the warning track. Back near the wall. It's out of here. Michael Conforto ties the game with a majestic three-run homer. Number nine for Conforto. And the Mets, just like that, get back even. Runners on the corners for the light-hitting Wilmer Defoe. Wheeler's pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Defoe could not catch up to Wheeler's fastball throughout that at bat. Wheeler fired a strike over the outer edge that Defoe swung through to win the inning. Here's the one-two pitch. Swing and a high pop-up right side, slicing towards the line. Conforto charging over. Out goes Cano, and it drops in between them. A fair ball. Conforto, I think, was clipped by Cano. Conforto is down. Going to second and holding there is Kendrick. Kendrick will get credit for a bloop double, and now the question is, is Conforto okay? I think Michael got his head hit right there by Cano's shoulder, I think it knocked him. I think he's a little bit dizzy right there. He's right on the chin. Yeah, he's coming out of this game. Para two for two. Double to deep right center. Para to right. Well hit. Still going. See you later. Bullpen. His second as a net. And it's a 6-4 game. Three for three in the game. With an RBI double, a single, and now a two-run home run. Bang. Zoom goes Para. Well, Suzuki will try to deliver that always important insurance run. Suzuki, right center, it's dropping. Para around the bag. He will score. 7 4 Nationals. 
and the Mets will be able to bring the tying run to the plate now as they have runners at second and third and one man out. And the first pitch to Ramos. Swing and a liner up the middle. Base hit center field. Nimmo in to score. Frazier will stop at third. Ramos on at first. And the Mets are within two. Lagara struck out looking in the fifth and swinging in the seventh. And Lagara shoots one the other way. A base hit. Frazier's in to score. Ramos stops at second. It's seven to six. Keon Broxton, the batter, has never faced Doolittle. And he's facing him with the bases loaded. Two outs. Swing and a miss. Everybody exhale. How big can two out of three be on the 16th of May for the Nets? Pretty important.